Oh, I have to set up. I have to set up my file. All right, we're live and ready to go. All right, hold on. I got. I didn't set up my file because I suck. So, uh, I got to do that real quick. <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys. We're going to do Uncharted 4, All Encounters as a Race. Uh, on crushing mode, by the way. So it'll be nice and exciting. Use. Well, actually, I have to load <laughs> on my full save file first. Uh, but in start, uh, we are gonna uh, load one of the chapters and then we are going back into main menu and we are gonna explain later why we do this. Well, I mean, while you're doing that, I could just, I could explain it now, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, I can um, explain to you. Yeah, so, so the reason we do that is because if you don't have a save file attached to your game, since we loaded it from a uh, a checkpoint that was already done, we get all the encounters, but it also kind of tricks the game. And when we load up an encounter, it'll let us keep playing uh, even past the the when the encounter would normally end. So for certain encounters, we're just going to do the whole thing at once, like chapter nine, for example, we're going to start at the collapse and just continue and skip the load ins. So that helps us do that. And it also makes sure that our in-game time does not change back to whatever the original time was. Because uh, when you start the encounter, you're supposed to, it, the game will reset your timer to zero. But if there's a save file, sometimes it doesn't do that. And then you check your time and it says seven hours and you're like, what? Uh, so without a save file, it makes sure that doesn't happen. So we don't have to keep checking for that. So there you go. So we're going to run this by in-game time. Uh, we'll go down the list. Uh, we're skipping evasion because it's 30 seconds and it's the same that you've seen before. You just run to the spot. Uh, so we're skipping that and we're going to skip uh, Volcano Ruins 1 and 2 because they're optional in the game and uh, we don't have strategies for them. So we said screw it. We're skipping those. And uh, everything else, you'll see. All right, I'm ready when you are. All right. And I guess we'll start the timer when we select the encounter. Yeah. So that we can just go right into it. And when we play. All right, so in, yeah. are you ready to go? Uh, go into, uh, right. say, like, challenge uh, level. Then uh, start time. All right. All right. Got it, OK. A countdown. All right, in three, two, one, go. Gotta start my splits. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, we have no strats for the parts we don't play. Mm -hmm. And actually, we actually we could check that IGD is zero in here before we continue, just to yeah. be sure. That's a good point. Yeah, mine's a two, so like it was at like one, whatever. Works. Well, yeah, you, you played already like those two seconds. All right, timer is correct. We can continue. Yeah. Uh, we are trying our best uh, to explain a stretch uh, in each fight. No, don't kill me. Uh, pretty much uh, prison fight is same as in my in prison run. Uh, you have to uh, knock down uh, six guys. Uh, then, when restart encounter appears in menu, when restart encounter appears in menu, uh, you can restart checkpoints. And like in yesterday, uh, wait a few seconds. I take down uh, this guy with Sam and Gustavo. Uh, he's around another corner this time. Because I was too close, like uh, his spawn point. Come on, Gus. Hey, hey, get off! 
All right. So I have a feeling that uh, Hawk's going to be in the lead for a lot of this, but I'm running on a PS5, so I'm hoping my shorter load screens makes this look uh, a little more close than it might actually be. So, yeah, so we're going to record our time at the end of each encounter and then back to the menu. And you start the next one. And yeah, uh, in end of run, we are going to reveal like how much our like uh, final in-game time is going to be uh, because running this on a real time would be a pain because the loading screens are inconsistent and uh, Gav is using PS5, so uh, he has like a little bit faster loading screens than I do because I'm on base PS4. You see, look, it looks like I'm in the lead. Love it. Uh, we are gonna do a uh, chapter five of all fights in one go, so this split is gonna be a little bit longer uh, than the first one. Or fight, this fight is gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, pretty much uh, strats is same in here as in any present. Uh, wait uh, for dialogue, cues, restart checkpoints, uh, or visual cues. Pretty much in here. If you are unsure when you re restart checkpoint, uh, wait when that door opens. Take this guy down in here. And when you kill, Oh, that was pretty close. Uh, when you kill uh, one guy, uh, Algazar and uh, his uh, crew will will kill the uh, last remaining enemies in that area. I'm glad you're explaining the strats so I can just make sure I don't screw them up. This next room is just about spawn camping. So at right, uh, these stairs, which I'm going up right now, these are pretty rigged, I would say. You don't have to kill any gods in here. You just uh, can, can run upstairs all time. And this god just dies without no reason. And you can take uh, his ammo. Uh, this room is can be a little tough, I would say, because enemies act weird sometimes in here. I like to go always like down around the corner and shoot them uh, from back. So I have advantage in here. And you wait in here a little bit, and all I can say is Samuel, take cover. Uh, that means you have triggered like next uh, checkpoint. Go in here, and I'm trying to spawn kill all of these enemies uh, with headshots because that is the most efficient way to do this a whole fight. Uh, if one guy gets through, that is okay. And all and his crew will take care. So we'll take care of guy uh, upstairs, so you don't have to worry about him. Usually, sometimes uh, they don't kill him, and that can be frustrating when you're doing full run. So pretty much. Wow, they didn't kill him. Uh, now entering a turret fight, which is last one in here. Uh, this is pretty much uh, like auto scroll. Uh, you kill one guard in here, and then Alakazar and his crew will kill those two two guys. Then you can blow up this wall, both barrels, and then just wait up in here. RPG guys up there will destroy that turret tower. And uh, this encounter ends when restarting counter 
has just gone from many. Alright, so like a golf set, instead we are gonna skip evasion and go straight into balcony fights. Right, here's my chance to catch up in loading. You think so? <laughs> it might be. I started the other fight before you somehow. Mm. Um, every, my IGT splits were a little bit incorrect, uh, but I think everything should be fine now. These loading screens have okay. have a benefits uh, when if something goes wrong technically, you can adjust them to make sure everything is working fine. Uh, so strat in here is right. same as in any percent. This card is also blind on crushing. Aim, jump, climb up. It doesn't matter if they always spot you in there. I drop down. You can roll if you want. Roll in here to avoid stagger. Hop over. And then what is great? Well, this is pretty much the same as in any present. Move this great about right in here. Then jump in here. They will spot you, but you have enough time to climb up and use this fire. Alright, so next one. A ballroom is all one of most infamous encounters in this game on crushing. Uh, we will see how well I'm gonna perform this. When you can move, restart checkpoints to have better enemy patterns. Jump over immediately. Headshot that guy. Go in here. Kill that guy. Take his barra so you don't have to load up your your pistol. Take those guys out. Wait in here, that guy with shotgun is getting closer. When there is uh, one or two enemies left alive in this area, and those doors open. Uh, when you are in stairs down here, restart checkpoint to despawn enemies. Then run through, kill these two, two guys, roll in there to avoid sniper. And of course I literally died when I was about to trigger cutscene. So, we try this again. Alright, second, second time. That isn't bad. Alright, into next one. Uh, ruins, uh, first fight in Scotland. Um, we can't use a normal speedrun threat in here uh, because we don't have we would like to have a four grenades or four dynamites in start but be because we are doing this from in counter circ we only have one dynamite so we can't use most faster str strat in here i have a little bit different strat in here i'm gonna well after loading screen, I'm gonna explain that at the same time when I'm playing. You can do this stealth way, uh, but going loudly in here is more, more faster. So, right after, throw dynamite over there when you see that guy sliding down. Shoot this wall to make this enemy run over to you, kill him. Climb up here, wait when these enemies will drop down. Alright, that was pretty nice. Uh, 
and pretty much like stay in here and enemies will run towards you you can use both sides so they pretty much can't ambush you in here Speak up the table. I almost died. Now there should be about you guys oh, right like... now. Uh, Sam That's usually not... kills one guy in here. And pretty much when music changes and when you hear this dialogue that means that everyone is killed and the encounter is over. Right into next one, uh, a breach. Uh, this is uh, one of the most simple fights in this game on crushing. Uh, there used to be a little bit different strats in here, uh, but. Uh, me and Melon uh, came up with a little bit different strats, which isn't so much RNG heavy, I would say. And also, same time, is like much more uh, consistent than strats, which we used in here before. Ninety nine, ninety nine, right? Uh, insta, insta, uh, wait in here uh, until you can drop on top of this enemy in here. Then move forward, wait like a little bit. How about in here? You can take down this guy. Wait in this bush, and wait when that guy uh, turns around. Then, in a pretty specific angle, I would say, go under this breach in here. Take down, or sorry, pick up that barrack. And then, pretty much, you can use... Uh, what is that called? Uh, blind fire. All of these guys. You have one dynamite, which is enough when you do this from encounter select. Then just uh, go around the corner, the rope, jump. And when you are about to slide down, uh, the encounter ends in here. Alright, uh, next encounter uh, dormitories is one of um, I would say my least favorite encounter in this whole game. Uh, this isn't hard, but um, in in speed run this can be like pain, uh, like real, re real, like real pain. Uh, this is a most heavy RNG encounter, and that really depends like enemy. Uh, placements uh, are you gonna proceed, proceed or not and using stealth in here is much more faster uh, than go going loud once again if you can use stealth in here uh, you can do this pretty much in a little bit over a minute Shit. there's pretty much uh, go we go in here Take cover in here, wait uh, this guy to walk past you. You can wait your time in here and go around the corner, climb up, climb up here. Wait in this bush, uh, I like to watch always to right uh, that guy. And when I see that he's about to turn, I leave in a very specific angle, climb up. I like to take this guy uh, down 
that isn't necessary. Um, my triangle prompt was pretty slow. I'm not, I'm not probably able to get this. Never mind. That was first try. Oh, that fight was a nice. little bit under a minute. 54 seconds. I can take that. Yeah, that's a good time. Yeah. Uh, and also, like, other RNG elements in the can be uh, that triangle prompt, as you can, as you saw, which can appear a little bit late because uh, that uh, depends, like, how far Sam is uh, from you when you are at that gate. Yeah, he's a bastard. Yeah, for speed, after after doing many, many speed runs of this game, uh, Sam is, has become like a meme. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, most of the time he doesn't help help you at all or do anything useful. He's, he's just mostly in your way the uh, whole time. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, cliffside. <laughs> As you said that, he got in my way. It was yeah. hilarious. Um, cliffside. This is pretty simple. Like one of the most easiest encounters on crushing. There isn't like that much to do. You don't have to kill even one enemy in here, and if they spot you, you can run at past them pretty easily, because, uh, because they don't follow you in here. Alright, I don't know if I can hear my game, so I can't tell if I'm gonna get this or not. And in here... There we go, okay. And in here, uh, when restart, encounter is gone. Uh, this new country is over. All right, so uh, next next fights or next fights we are gonna do as one. Uh, like we just like to call this uh, as as escape uh, from Scotland. There isn't mm, this had uh, like many different threats. Uh, before I, me and Melon started running this game, and we also had like our own stretch, which uh, we used in our runs. Uh, but lately, uh, there has been one stretch which uh, I have been using mainly like in middle part of this uh, whole uh, sequence, uh, which is like pretty consistent and at the same time, and at the same time, like. Uh, doesn't easily uh, kill your run, which was supposed to uh, be. This was su supposed to be, or not supposed to be. This was actually one of my biggest fears uh, when I started grinding this category more. Uh, this this fight. Um, start in here. Uh, the, the, the faster strats in here are just so dangerous. Yeah, faster strat in here is I could um, try to do that, but I actually haven't done that in many, uh, many, many months because that uh, in end that isn't that much uh, time save, and that is like one of most YOLO strats in this whole game. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, all right. Pretty much in here. Oh, I died. That is unfortunate. Uh, it doesn't matter. There is checkpoint <laughs> right right here. Um, when restart encounter appears, restart checkpoint, uh, which despawns enemies. Wait in here a little bit. Blow blow up that barrel that kills both guys. I like to throw dynamites in here right there. Which pretty much uh, kills at least three or four guys in here. In here, blow up that barrel.
in here uh, you can use all of your uh, shotgun ammo because uh, when you drop down in here restart checkpoint which uh, gives you two or three shotgun shells i think a uh, three yeah pick up uh, these pick up uh, these dynamites wait in here take that guy's ammo pretty specific a dynamite throw in here throw dynamite kill those two two scott these two guys which drop drop down wait here get get your health back come blind fire this guy take his ham ammo kill that sniper take all sniper ammo in here and when you kill two enemies in here uh, like the second wave of en enemy spawns in here as you can see this can can be half if enemies can throw a grenade at you like they did now so you can see uh, this part again yeah uh, that was unfortunate anyways same same again throw dynamite wait to get your health back in here a turret can't hit you at all. Same thing again. Kill that guy. Take pistol ammo. <sighs> you don't reload your gun in here. Take sniper ammo. Of course, that didn't kill, kill him. I'm on, honestly like shocked right now. That was second time in a row when they throw a grenade uh, <laughs> behind uh, that crate. Well, of course, uh, this performance is going downhill right now. <laughs> it always does in Batland Escape. Can you actually? God damn it. Got it, cop. They threw me all off. This actually would be easier to do if Sam wouldn't uh, actually hit enemies. <laughs> because when Sam hits them, they might move when you're aiming them. So that really doesn't help you at all. Anyways. In here, when you drop down, when restart in, in country is over, restart checkpoint if you are low on shotgun ammo, you get three back in here. Uh, that was pretty bad. Or I would say that was the, like most worst RNG you can get in there. Anyways, uh, pick up uh, this pistol. Drop down, kill that guy. Another slide rope uh last area pretty much of this uh, escape kill that guy uh, wait to get your health back make sure you have all colors uh, back on your screen in a very specific angle i uh, jump i kill these two guys to avoid extra damage And pretty much in here, um, when you are about to drop into slide, restart checkpoint, uh, mash X immediately. Uh, that despawns enemies, so you have a bigger chance to survive in here. Then dive uh, to the plane. When you see X prompt, uh, mash X, and when you are able to skip cinematic. Uh, encounter is over. I wonder how much time loss that was. Uh, that was pretty much over.
I lost like pretty much all of my time in the. I'm now 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, it definitely, it definitely caught up to you at one point, but you're still a little ahead. I'm at now 40 seconds behind uh, my personal best, but that, well, sometimes that can happen. That was really unfortunate. What happened in the? Anyways, as uh, trails tower. Uh, this has like few different strats. Uh, I like to use uh, stealth in here in uh, many many months or many many runs uh, and and golf and other runners uh, used like a little bit more dangerous threat so I came up with pretty much like the same uh, idea but a little bit a little bit uh, safer I would say I hope uh, I didn't I uh, showed um, <laughs> my own leg when I said that because this easily uh, can be uh, RPG can wreck you pretty easily in here anyways drive over these three guys yep that is what can happen all right uh, try attempt number two still uh, same same in start Try all about these two guys. What is wrong with R that RPG? I'm starting to feel my game is broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you getting RPG'd at the Trails Tower? Yeah, RPG has like hit my car twice in a row. That that twice that, in a row. Yeah, yeah, and that is actually very rare. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, climb up in here. Well, try to climb up a little bit faster so RPG doesn't kill you again. I love RPG. Shot can they take in crushing? It depends on what he's being shot with, but not a lot. Yeah, I would say Sometimes, more. Surprisingly. That really depends on uh, like, what uh, gun is an uh, enemy using. Like, if they're using pistol, that isn't so bad. But if they're using something more heavy, then. Not so great. Anyway, we are finally at power. We take RPG and these both grenades. I jump in here. A melee. This RPG guy. Take his ammo. Run up in here. Uh, aim about in here. Kill that sniper guy. Run down in here. You can wait. In here. A little bit. If you see someone close to that barrel, you can use uh, them as advantage. And when you are in here, you can use RPG into these guys because we don't need RPG later in this encounter. Okay. Alright. And when that dialogue appears, uh, encounter is over. That was awful encounter also. That was like... 30 second timers also. Uh -oh. Did you stop when you killed them or when you got to the car? Uh, when I got dialogue. You got dialogue. Okay. Alright, so Gov said in start Volcano Ruins 1 and 2. We are gonna skip these because these are optional and they are not uh, needed uh, in normal speedruns or when you are progressing in, in story. Alright. Uh, next fight, a drawbridge. This is. Uh, there is two different. Fucked up. Yeah, this is fucked up uh, fight, but uh, luck, luckily, I, 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 I could say uh, we can't use uh, either of speedrun strats in here because we don't have four grenades or RPG from previous fights from tra Trails Tower in here. So this is more or less improvising. Uh, this encounter when you are doing this from encounter select all right i like to do this fight that i jump down use rope uh, pretty late grenade these guys wait pick up all their ammo kill the sniper guy then that guy 
I throw a grenade in the... There is usually one guy on top of uh, this building, where uh, am I right now? And when there is like two or three guys only alive, uh, that car or truck uh, that comes into this area. I always like to throw a couple of grenades in there almost immediately. Then pretty much you can spawn kill all these enemies in here. There is only like one or two left now. Hello there. And pretty much when you hear that music stops and you see that uh, dialogue, that means in country is over. That actually was pretty nice. That was actually gold and I got some time time back. I'm a little bitch. Alright, our next fight, uh, Avery's Tower. We also can't use speed run strat in here. Uh, we, in start, uh, we we would use RPG, which we have saved uh, from Trails Tower. Uh, but because we do this from Encounter Select, uh, we once again have um, AK, uh, um, Para 45, and one grenade in start. Because in start, RPG would be one hit, one kill for first three enemies and that would make the second wave of enemies uh, spawn faster but because uh, this takes a little bit more time so we have to be a little bit more cautious in here uh, with enemies because we can kill them as fast as we can could do in normal run i like to do this that i throw a grenade i start using blind fire almost immediately I always use AK first, then I pick up a shotgun in here, jump, a little bit better blind fire than I am doing right now, climb up in here, jump into this guy, when a helmet is off you can melee him. Uh, in here, you can like spawn kill like rest of enemies. If there is still some alive, you can use your grenade launcher. Where is that guy? Hello there. And when restart encounter is gone, you can make sure that everything is fine. And alright, that was a little slow, because that one guy didn't want to appear. Alright, so... Uh, many people probably will remember this fight. Uh, this was in PlayStation E3 uh, 2015. Uh, like a second Uncharted 4 gameplay ever. And this is the uh, biggest like set piece or action sequence of this uh, whole game and we are gonna do this like from start almost into finish we are gonna skip like very very last part of this uh, like whole uh, sequence all right i had a good avery's tower feeling good yeah not too far behind you're still loading all right mm, i'm gonna be in, in counter now right in start uh, because we don't have a grenade uh, from from chapter 10 you i suggest that you kill all these guys uh, before you can uh, move forward pick up all their ammo and when apc uh, spawns in here restart checkpoint Pick up uh, their ammo again. Uh, you need this one grenade in here. Throw grenade, very specific throw. Oh, well. And you have to be like literally pretty fast in here. 
Well, otherwise, uh, the, this easily can go in wrong way. Once again, throw a grenade. You can use your AK to find fire in here. And if you are not uh, fast enough, uh, that truck uh, can uh, drive over you. So you have to be... This has to be like pretty specific, this whole sequence. Alright. I haven't lost any health. Alright. That was a little bit sloppy, but... We are still gonna continue. Um, if those who watched uh, my any percent run, I'm gonna use the same route in here. You take, of course, more, more damage easily than on Explorer, so you have to be more cautious and with driving, and you have to be aware where that APC is. Like in here, I like to slow my, my uh, driving a little bit. Then you can go pretty much like a full acceleration in here. In here, tight right, and we go downstairs. And in here, uh, just a drive behind this APC, and you can go up these stairs. Uh, because, uh, because you do that, you skip. You actually skip like a little bit dialogue in here because game the like doesn't doesn't like recognize that you actually already have moved forward because uh, that is like. Uh, if you will do that, like from scripts, you will go a little bit around in there, and then you will go upstairs. But because we go uh, upstairs like immediately, that skips a little bit dialogue in there. Uh, that of course doesn't matter at all uh, in here because uh, you are in control the whole time. You now, God? Not really, but in real time, I'm almost not, I'm close to you. I just started uh, the drive that you're on, basically, the same part. See if I can thread the needle. Uh, I think I touched it. Yeah. Uh, there isn't um, like much to explain in here. This is pretty much like waiting and doing restart checkpoints. There, you don't pretty much, you don't have to kill almost anyone in here. Like, if I have to count, yeah. you have to kill only like five or six enemies total in this uh, chase sequence. It's almost harder if you do try to kill them. Yeah, that is true. And in here, because we are. Uh, sorry, uh, because we are using check, uh, or why uh, we are using checkpoints in here, uh, that despawns enemies in here, and makes you like progress a little bit further. Uh, in here, I like to always kill 
a guy who is behind these cars. So I don't have to like knock, knock him down when I jump into car. I only have to worry about the driver. And pretty much when you are a control of car, restart checkpoints. And in here, just try to stay like literally behind uh, this truck the whole time. And when you are pretty close or when you see a prompt, you can start smashing X and Nathan jumps and grabs off this truck. And right after right checkpoints, a massive square, then triangle. You can either shoot or melee that guy. Uh, this is a little bit harder to kill this guy on back of this truck. Or car. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because if you accidentally uh, hit driver, for uh, example, with headshot, uh, like this whole, whole car blows up. Which makes total sense. Right, so pretty much uh, in this last sequence, uh, you can die, but uh, because I take, like, right after I have a control of this car, I take down uh, the, those two guys with bikes. Uh, you pretty much don't take any damage in here after that. And in here, when you drive over and this guy on left, like in-game cutscene starts and that is meaning that in-country is over. You ever get the, the bug, Hawk, where it's just an empty motorcycle? Like if you kill the driver and they run out of motorcycles, they just spawn in an empty one? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. It's pretty fun. All right, so um, this next encounter, Island jungle. I'm. I'm gonna try. No, we're island jungle yeah. already. <laughs> I'm gonna try three times. Uh, most fastest uh, strat in here. If every one of those fail, I'm gonna go like more easier way. Because this uh, most fastest strat is so specific, and in pretty much in that strat, you move the whole time. You pretty much don't stay still uh, at all. Uh, this was founded uh, by Lightning God, who pretty much founded many, many strats uh, for this game on crashing. Anyways, in here, like, get spotted in here. Move as fast as you can. I like to take a cover in here. Then I drop down. Roll. In here, rope, uh, roll to avoid stagger. Climb, I like to roll in here also. Jump. You have to be a little bit fast in here when that guy is about to turn. Hold square to like lure him. All right, in here. Wait, when that mini guy is like past that rock, then you can jump in here, and you are pretty much as a after this. And when you land in here, that means encounter is over. Alright, um, so these next two fights in Lipatale, we are gonna do as one split because these don't take pretty much like almost. Did you get a. Did we both get a first try? Yeah, I did a most fast stretch, which is like. Yeah, ten. so did I. <laughs> well, I think I did the slightly slower one, but I did the, the hard jump. Yeah, I got it. So, uh, yeah. But all it, right. Yeah, I got one, one 13. I got a 127. Wow. So 
Um, the reason I'm so excited is because that was that's a really really hard fight uh, one to do that way. So uh, first, I'm really excited. Yeah, uh, firstly, Batalia fights. Uh, lean back as much as you can, then go forward. Uh, that guy uh, ignores you totally. Just go upstairs. Uh, kill this guy, so he doesn't like grab you, etc. Climb up in here. Uh, these enemies won't kill you uh, when you go through uh, this doorway. We start checkpoints uh, to despawn enemies. And uh, this next part, rope, then use rope again. A uh, roll to avoid punch. And that is the uh, first fight done. See any more? Or are we clear? I think we're clear. Guys? Uh, in here, when you drop down, we start checkpoints. This isn't like necessary, but I like to do that uh, just to be sure of enemy uh, movements, etc. In here, rope. Don't go. Well, don't do that either, but in, in here, don't go too too high, otherwise you will get spotted. Once again. Alright. Uh, that was a little bit sloppy, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, when you enter this area, uh, these enemies spawn when you touch uh, that building where we landed. So, in here. Uh, wait when that enemy is high enough, drop down, roll into, into this bo uh, bush, wait uh, for that enemy. When that enemy is like about to drop down, press triangle. When the restarting counter is gone, that means the counter is finished. What'd you get on that one? Uh, 212. Uh, 212? I got a 203, baby. 203. At right. least I won one of them. <laughs> All right. Um, tower collapse. Uh, this is pretty much like you don't have to kill anyone. In this in this uh, whole encounter, like only hard part, uh, I will point that like when I'm in there. But like there is only one hard part, and that re re that actually requires a lot of luck to survive without using restart checkpoints. All right, so this is pretty much the uh, same as in my any present run. Pretty much like after these thoughts, just a uh, mass circle right away. There isn't like uh, much like to explain in here. There is like just some movement skips here and there. But like overall, this is pretty much same on every difficulty. Uh, when you grab uh, that ledge, uh, drop down to make this a little bit faster. Um, in here, when you uh, start to climb up uh, using your rope, uh, I'm not doing restart checkpoint. When, when I'm doing a run, I actually like to use restart checkpoint in here to avoid uh, from getting erect uh, by RPG. Because that sometimes can happen. And in here you can jump like pretty early and Nathan goes through <laughs> uh, um, that wall. 
and in here like when Nathan says this is not I like to restart checkpoints that is like audio cue for using restart checkpoint you have like more bigger chance to survive uh, this trip to the door and when you can move in here restart checkpoint a uh, mass triangle right away and then circle This is one of the most simple fights on crushing, like only thing that can uh, ruin this is like bad, bad luck, honestly. You can do a, yeah. a, pretty much everything in here right, but if game tells you that no, you aren't capable of enough. Anyway, in, in Nadian fights, uh, mash a square right after skipping cutscene, and then don't move, so you trigger this scene faster. And when Nadine, uh, when you hit uh, crap Nadine in here, you don't have to press triangle in here. Uh, elevators next. All right. No, 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 no. Guess no the car. car. That actually was pretty decent. That was four seconds better than my gold gold time in here. Nice. Six seconds faster than mine. All right. Um, this next encounter actually is very frustrating to do. Yeah, because it's nerve wracking. The grenade is good though. That that's been working consistently for me. Mm. Yeah, that works. Like uh, um, biggest difference in here, like comparing doing this like from Safe or Chapter Chapter Select, is that a car is slower uh, in, in if you do this from Encounter Select. So you can do this pretty much uh, everything right in here, but a car. Because car is slower, you might take damage more easily. So that can easily like ruin uh, this encounter. Like in normal run, if I didn't know that. in normal run, uh, this isn't like too bad. This encounter, but in chapter select, because car is slower, this easily can go wrong. Over there. In There's here, no turret? did I pick the wrong? Oh, there is a turret, okay. Oh yeah, uh, that turret actually is there only on crushing. That turret isn't there. That's why I was confused and I didn't see it. Yeah. But it was there when I turned the corner. Yeah. Alright, so grenade in there. After you have a throw, after you threw a grenade. Uh, start driving immediately. I'm most likely I'm gonna die because I'm taking so much damage right now And yeah, that's what's expectable. So Yeah, you had bad RNG on that that first guy You sometimes he'll run a different direction and not be shooting you or he'll be in the path of the car So you can run him over to stop yourself from taking so much damage yeah. But sometimes he just runs the wrong way Alright, so 
everything is the same again. I'm just hoping that everything goes uh, better uh, this time. I at least got that guy out of way. Please don't kill me. Phew. Alright, second try. When you drop down, that encounter is over. Alright, that was a bunch of time loss. Like about a minute or some, something like that, so... Oh, that sucks. You're saying there's a chance. Yeah. All right, I had a really good elevator, so that's encouraging. 58 seconds. It's probably my best one ever. But that's, so this one's actually a little faster than normal because normally you want to like kill some guys, get some guns and care about that, but in this one, you can just kind of YOLO it, which is what I did. Uh, elevator up is also one of the most infamous fights in this game of rushing, uh, but because there is actually checkpoints, we can abuse, uh, that is very helpful in speedruns. That was very bad jump. But uh, try to kill those five, five first guys as fast as you can. Wait in here a little bit to get your health back. Go around uh, this pillar. Wait to get your health back. Uh, you don't need your full health back, just most of that. Uh, climb in here, restart checkpoint, and that despawns enemies uh, down there. And you can also pretty much uh, skip uh, this fight also. I'm actually gonna heal uh, this guy because he's pretty close to me. Uh, just use rope in here. And when Elena drives over these guys, uh, encounter is over. Oh man, I'm on Avery's house is coming up. Oh yeah, yeah. Loading screens are really helping me right now. Mm, yeah, because we actually <laughs> don't know like uh, who is leading right now. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure you're leading right now. Because in the beginning, I lost a lot of time, and you only lost like what a minute or two. Just, well, just I'm a little bit over two minutes behind my PEP. I'm like now on fifty-six. Uh, 56 minutes pace right now. All right, I don't know what my pace is, <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the time, so I won't say what my total is. Um, uh, water features is last, actually last uh, stealth encounter in this game. Um. And this pretty much like you have to do this on stealth on crushing because this is actually frustrating if you do like to do this like normally because there is so many enemies on this such a little area uh, when that uh, enemy like spots you up there uh, dive dive immediately uh, that like changes uh, his pattern a little bit so when i climb up in here I can uh, take uh, this guy immediately down, so I don't have to wait in here extra seconds. In here, go through this window, uh, mash, uh, try, uh, sorry, a rope front. Move a little bit forward. If you get caught, you, unless that prick decides, decides to grab you. But yeah, pretty much in here, you can just run. 
uh, hole, hole by through. Uh, dive immediately because in com when you are in combat, uh, diving is faster than normal swimming. And in here, in the well, this encounter is pretty much over now. And when you draw, land in here, enc encounter is gone, and that is encounter done. All right, so uh, as you probably can see, uh, Gob is now in next encounter, Avery's house, which is also, I would say after a ship graveyard, if I'm talking not casually, I would say Avery's house is after a ship graveyard, most challenging fight on crushing, because uh, there is totally two uh, waves of enemies and on crushing there they have grenade launchers and more heavy weapons and there is minigun guy in start and pretty much and there isn't like safe place to go because in uncharted 4 what is like a difference between older uncharted games crushing difficulties in uncharted 4's enemies are more like i would say they are like more aggressive than in previous installments so this that makes this fight already much more harder. Instead, a uh, throw grenade. Like I like to run up immediately up here, aim uh, to kill these two guys. I uh, pick up uh, this sniper. Take up, take down that guy who also That's has sniper. Hiding. Uh, when you are in here, there always is like one guy. Uh, down there. Uh, when minigun guy comes up, you can start using sniper to him, and that is like five five bullets in total. Uh, I had a really good start, and then the last couple of guys just kept running away. And pretty much, you can just stay behind this pillar. Just watch like time to time down, is there someone coming? Elena usually says like if someone is trying to ambush you from behind. Come on. Would you like to die please? Come on. Alright, Elena didn't didn't like to warn me. Anyways, um, I like to use that that one. Alright, uh, this is a little bit bad RNG. Enemies like to hide right now. And when you hear this dialogue, the encounter is over. That was still actually pretty nice considering enemy enemies behaved badly. I would say uh, normally that encounter is a little bit faster because you have some guns uh, from previous encounters which you can use in that instead of that encounter which makes like start much more easier and more faster at the same time. Right. Um, in ambush the uh, difference is already that's when you do this from encounter select, you don't have weapons you need. And if you want to do this like normally, you have to do Avery's house first, then you move into chapter 19. Because in chapter 19, you can't uh, pick up uh, guns uh, from bonus menu, what, what you would need in here normally. So in normally, you would have in here a barrack, arm um, grenade launcher and four grenades. But we have to use what we have now. Wow. First try, I got it. Pretty much, uh, you can... Normally, you could uh, spawn kill, like, all those guys in that hallway. But, like, when we have now, like... 
uh, net nerf uh, weapon layouts. We have to use a li little bit uh, creativity, creativity in here. And when you like hug uh, this wall in here, like the last uh, wave, wave of enemies will spawn. All right, that was pretty nice. Uh, pick up a grenade in here. You will need that. And pick up a condor in here. And every ammo you you can have in here. Wait, enemies in here to blow up that mommy. Pick up their ammo. Okay, behind this corner. Well, Elena didn't want to do <laughs> uh, Elena trigger. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. She didn't do it? Yeah, she moved like behind that cover on the right side instead uh, behind, behind or next to that mommy. Anyways, uh, we are trying again. Alright, Elena, uh, when he goes in there, he triggers that mommy which blows up and kills up uh, that guy with armor. And in here, um, just move forward. When you drop down, restart checkpoint uh, that despawns remaining enemies up, uh, like up there. Kill this guy. Unlike on Explorer, you can't uh, trigger those mummies because you take so much damage that you could die in a few seconds. Wait in here. Uh, that mini guy triggers them uh, himself, then drop down. And when restarting counter is gone, and then. Encounter is finished. Alright. Um, If Elaine is still in here, I'm pr pretty sure he, he has waited um, this moment, uh, this past, past like one, and, one hour and 15 minutes. So, um, ship graveyard. This is probably like mm, many people remember uh, this fight uh, from their first uh, crushing playthrough uh, this yeah this also uh, for me when I played this first time on crushing this was real pain uh, but for now uh, because there actually is like some strat we can use in here so this actually is like not so bad to do but it can be same time not so great. No, I had a really good one, and I could have just ran for the checkpoint, but I got nervous, so I tried mm. to fight. But yeah, uh, I had bad RNG mm. on the top, guys. Right, in start, uh, jump down. I like to aim about in there. I kill that guy. Punch this guy. Throw a grenade down to like spawn kill those enemies. I kill that guy. You can pretty much like throw almost all grenades you have in here because any like every enemy uh, drops grenades in here pick up all four grenades uh pick up that barrack uh, pick up also all hs ammo you have i like to go in here then like a spawn kill uh, those three last remaining enemies uh, go in here when that blow, uh, wall blows up, uh, spam all your grenades. Alright, reload, reload. Um, take up a grenade launcher. Elena, Elena, help me, help me, help me. Alright, that was a little bit sketchy <laughs> anyways uh, that was like first first wave done uh take cover a little bit on right side so that guy up there with grenade launcher moves moves to left and in here you can kill that guy if you want with grenade launcher wow the sniper guy grabbed me from behind oh fuck. While I was yeah, dealing that with sucks this. yeah these guys, they're not cooperating on that. The, the two snipers are right. not cooperating. So, uh, when you are like done in here, uh, pick up a grenade launcher and make sure you have four grenades.
I'm actually curious of my like ship grave graveyard time when I'm finished. I'm gonna check that. Uh, when your uh, feet is uh, on solid ground, once again, reach the checkpoint. Aim immediately, kill that guy. Wait uh, when both guys are down. They can be a little bit separate in I there. Uh, that can suck. Uh, that actually is nice. I'm sorry, Elena. Um, I need all corner ammo in here. And when you slide down, restart checkpoint. I climb up, I jump on top of this guy. Go to left immediately. Kill that guy. Arm armored guy. Guy with barrack. Reload your gun. And that was actually pretty nice. Alright. You're a sight for sore eyes. Yeah. How about we get off this damn beat, huh? Absolutely. I would say that this actually was one of my best ship, ship, ship graveyards ever. Right. I'm gonna actually watch my time in here. This isn't final time. Uh, three, 3 minutes to 28 seconds. That actually is pretty nice. After you can move, restart checkpoint. Aim in here. And to kill. Alright, I'm gonna restart checkpoint because I wasted three bullets. Aim about in there. I have to take down RPG. So we don't have to worry about him. I throw a grenade about in there. So that wall it is like these appears. All enemies are actually pretty nice placed. I can pretty much almost spawn kill. Spawn kill all of them. Uh, almost, almost. Um. Come on. All right. Kill that guy. That one. Immediately. All right. I'm gonna wait actually a little bit. Someone's still alive. Uh. Alright, that was a little slow reunion. Still fine. Um, where is RPG? Pick up RPG. Throw a grenade. About in there. Two grenades over there. Use RPG. And when you have killed last enemy, restart checkpoints. Um, you can do next area with the with the H's. Actually, it's better to do with eight with the H's because all the enemies also have that gun in there. Can you go Nate and Albert? Thank you. So there is only one area left, like of this whole uh, sequence or chapter 20, chapter 20 fights. And that is the uh, last Ghana fight of this ho whole game. There isn't like, I don't have like some strat in there, which I would use every time. I most pretty much like every time I improvise in here. But yeah, I like Kill that guy first. But yeah, I always like to use Barrack in here because that is the first one shot, one kill weapon. When there is one uh, enemy alive, uh, that truck uh, spawns. When you reach about this area, there is uh, all four enemies will drop down and you can spawn kill them. In here, Wait when Nathan says or not, then you can destroy that truck. Wait 
when that wall comes comes down, camera angle changes, restart checkpoint. And this is pretty much like the straight forward from now on. You just like uh, are trying trying to run away uh, from this APC. Well, because you pretty much there is all, only a one place left where you need guns in this game, and that is like in next 30 to 40 seconds. Camera angle changes, restart checkpoints, so you are behind cover right away with RPG. I had a good, everything that wasn't the first checkpoint was good, so feeling okay. And when restart, like one and when restart the encounter is gone, that is end of that um, sequence. All right. 759, wow. Uh, that act, that it wasn't even gold. It wasn't even gold, huh? Yeah. Mr. Braggart over here. You have right. subates for breakfast. All right. Uh, one, one last time. And this is Rave on Crushing. And I'm pretty sure and that all, also many people remember this fight. That this actually was you... You pretty much don't have uh, much time to uh, like react to Rafe, Rafe uh, attacks. You pretty much have to, you have to like remember his patterns outside. Like if someone has trouble with this fight, I would like request or uh, not request. I would re recommend to do this fight using actually slow motion. So you like get used to uh, of his attacks attacks that what is left and what is right and then after you are like confident enough uh, with this fight then start uh, doing a way like always like wave after wave uh, these fights on crushing Look, I get it. Yeah. You don't like me very it's actually like no, for all your I most likely you have nothing. I, I actually have done this fight some multiple times on Mirror World, like where Rafe attacks are, of course. Well, they are reversed. Oh so that that actually <laughs> yeah, that actually was because. I kinda I recognize that what is like left left attack and what is right attack. That isn't that much problem. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna do this normally now because <laughs> that actually I haven't done that uh, in many 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 days or weeks. Anyways, um, in start when you can. When Rave uh, starts speaking, you know how to sword fight. I like to uh, hit him so that uh, skips his dialogue. All right, so pretty much in here. There isn't like much to explain, I would say. I will of course say that always that what is left and what is right that, uh, but. There, that would, would be pointless in uh, some way. There is about like some different uh, ways uh, to exploit or not exploit, but make this fight being faster. But uh, this is usually just RNG that brave attacks are not like uh, consistent. 
And when you are always like too close to wall, that is like most uh, bad thing that can happen. Actually, wow, I pressed, I pressed a circle in here. Oh fuck! Well, wasn't uh, one one try. As you can see now, I got much uh, better uh, patterns in here. And in here, when triangle prompt disappears, restart checkpoint, and this is the uh, last like wave of this fight. And this is uh, most hot. In here, rape does like multiple different combos, and you actually this is like hardest one to remember to do. Sword. Let's see how I do. All right, uh, one death. I can accept it. And I'm, I'm blaming game right now because I press circle. What game is game? Yeah, yeah. you didn't. You got me. I believe. I believe it. Well, they actually. Names a lot. That it, but yeah, like speaking honestly, there actually is like some sometimes a game in in this fight. Game doesn't like recognize your uh, inputs. That has happened to me a couple of times. Mostly there isn't like no problem, but a few times like I have pressed like triangle or circle, and game game says that game says that no you didn't actually. Uh, pretty much in here, you press triangle like most of the time. There is only two uh, circle attacks you have to block, and that was second one of them. Okay. First checkpoint's done. This. And in here, when you can restart, oh, sorry, skip cutscene. Um, that is pretty much after that done. So we are now waiting Gov to finish. I have my time up in here. This actually was in real time much faster than I, I could have thought in the first place. Oh, lucky. Yeah, I definitely fucked up the last two and just like barely pressed it in time. All right. I think that's the first time I ever did the whole fight without taking damage. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, I died actually in here in my crushing record run, and uh, I died in last. <laughs> that was literally like last combo what Ra Rave did. I died in there, and yeah. that was like 45 to 60 seconds time was. Yeah. 
All right, now I just got to make sure I can press a QTE. But yeah, I'm still. I've uh, died here before too. I, like, uh, I, uh, I, I have, didn't just start nursing. Yeah, I have died in here also before. All right. Hold in the button. Oh, there was a goblet in the way. I earned this. I sure fucking did. Okay. All right. I've got my time. It's definitely my PB, but that's yeah. not saying much. <laughs> uh, I'm two and a uh, half minutes behind my PB. Oh. So I got a 105.47. 105.47. All right. Yeah. And uh, my time was exactly 57 minutes. 57 on the dot. Nice. Okay. So uh, I'm less than 10 minutes behind. I'll take it. I'll take it. Considering I'm up against the, the mighty arc of Uncharted 4 fandom. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm yeah, glad uh, I was able to keep up in the real time. Yeah, that actually was because this actually also, I have to say, loading screens actually were a decent or, or actually were like best ones ever. <laughs> because uh, my, yeah. I think, yeah, my estimate was one, one hour and 30 minutes and I was uh, done like in one twenty four twenty five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my I put the high estimate of two hours, which is was probably too much in hindsight, because once I got once I de-rusted a little bit, it wasn't so bad. And um, then with my loading screens, it was still only an hour and a half. Yeah, like oh well, this was actually so, yeah a nice run, nice run. Um, like pretty much everything was yeah fine, fine, fine enough for me. But um, escape from Scotland was a place where my Pretty much, I lost my run because my sum of best actually yeah. is in is fifty one, fifty one, yeah, fifty one minutes right now, and I'm not sure am I gonna even try to grind this category, but sub fifty would actually be nice in this one. Yeah, that'd be good. But yeah, that would actually that'd require yeah, like pretty much if you could use like fastest threats in those few fights, then that would be possible or uh, easier. Like yeah. example, uh, you could do, do draw pitch like example in like in 30 seconds. <laughs> Instead uh, in yeah. here when that is like one and a half minute or something like that. Definitely. But yeah, um, yeah but you know, it's Eat to like uh have to do the fight slightly differently for this run is kind of cool yeah that that is a little bit of course thanks for the ggs everyone um we are uh, sorry matt that's there is now 30 minutes gap <laughs> in here yeah uh, what's what's 30 minutes <laughs> what can we do for 30 minutes we can do something for 30 minutes is this fine, Matt? Well, we'll see. We'll see if Matt needs this at all or not. <laughs> he says it's fine. Yeah, he's. But I, I think he's at the same time uh, smashing his table. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he, he's ready. All right. Then we don't have to worry. I know. For. Uh... Who's that? Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's Satori. That should be yeah. exciting. Ooh, Colin's um, like pumped about that. All right. Thanks for the GG's, uh, everyone. And take care. Uh, good luck, Shay, uh, with your Tomb Raider run. Uh, hope you get a nice new PB.